Okay, um, we are going to try another strategy for division. This is the array division model, and um, this is a really good model to use if you have place value blocks, which aren't always handy, but the nice thing about this model is that you don't actually have to do any division at all. So we're going to start by making a array that is um, or using place value blocks, and I want to make 180. So I would start off with a flat and it is equal to, which is equal to 100. And then you have eight longs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, for a total of 80, meaning that our entire uh, rectangle here is 180. So let's just go ahead and take that off the picture because I want to show you something. Notice, and this is the most important part, is that I've made a perfect rectangle, all right, where we can find the area inside that rectangle. And you guys learned from fourth grade that area is simply the length, which might be this, the length times the width. So if I count up the number of squares along the length, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There are eighteen squares going along the bottom. And now I'm going to count this width one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten going down this way. So basically, I could say that. 18, this is the cheat because this would be faster. I could count all of the blocks inside there, but we know that we can use multiplication to get to this answer more quickly. So we could say that 180 is 8, 18 times 10, which equals 180. We also know that um, inverse operations, multiplication and division are inverse operations of each other. So I could rewrite my multiplication equation, this right here, to be 180 divided by 10 equals 18, or it could also be written as 180 divided by, oops, this pen's not running very well, um, 18 would equal 10. All right? So basically, the array model is making a perfect rectangle finding the sides, those are your, going to be your divisor and answer actually, and then the, um, the number of boxes inside, this whole thing right here, is your quote, or your um, dividend. All right, let's try another way of looking at this. Now what I've done is I've done the same thing. I took 180. Uh, let's just make sure that that indeed is 100. So we know the flat is 100. And then let's count up the tens or longs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we'd still have 180. But please note that when you look at this picture, it is not a perfect rectangle. So what I would like to do, though, is I would like to manipulate this model so that I have a perfect rectangle without adding or subtracting the number of squares that would be inside. So, take a look at this. What if I were to trade in one of my longs for 10 ones? Then I would be able to take these ones, whoops, it's moving, I don't mean it to move. Um, I would take these ones and I could actually move them over here and then maybe make a perfect rectangle. So, let's try that. Notice that I traded in my 10 over here. Whoops, that keeps moving, sorry. I traded in my 10 over here for these ones right there. And I moved them all over into this empty area right here so that I could make a perfect, notice I have a perfect rectangle. Now, let's just double check that this indeed is 180, that I didn't add or subtract anything. So remember that we have 100 on the inside. I'm going to count my longs. Five, oh, excuse me, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 
71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. All right, so just confirmed that I still have 180. All I did was move one of my longs from the side and put it on the bottom. Okay. So now I've cleared up all my junk and notice I have a perfect rectangle. Um, I just now I'm going to make an equation to match this picture that is shown here, this rectangle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I know that it's equal to 180. 180. And in order to find uh, the area of it, I would need to know the sides. So I'm going to count the sides. I know that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 squares are along this side. So that's 15. And now I'll just count the ones on the top or bottom. doesn't matter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the area of this rectangle is 15 by 12, and if we did the math, it would equal 180. So the cool thing is, is because division is an inverse operation of multiplication, I can rewrite this using the same numbers as division. 180 divided by 15 equals 12, 180 divided by 12 equals 15. And that's basically it for the array division model. Um, so we're going to do two more examples and then you should be able to do this on your own. All right, so now you're going to try one on your own, but instead of me using place value blocks as I showed before, we're going to use the symbols for those place value blocks because that's how it's going to be on the test, and you might find that on the FSA. So let me go ahead and draw. Um, a flat is going to look like this, where it is a square. A long will be a straight line, and so that we don't confuse the um, flats with the ones, uh, we're going to use little x's to be our ones. All right, so try to figure out what the equation is and I mean the multiplication and division equation for the, the this figure. All right, so um, if you'd like to try this on your own, then pause the video here and do it yourself. Otherwise, I'm going to start going over it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out exactly how much I have there. I notice that I have, and let me make my thing a little smaller so it's easier to draw, and I'll draw in red, is I have 100 here, and I have... 10, 20, 30, so I have a whole total of 132. All right, now I'm going to see how many squares go along the side and how many squares go along the top. So I know that a flat is 10, and that the end of a, of a, of a long like this is going to be one square and one square. So that means that this whole side here is a total of 12, Let's get rid of this and write this. 12 squares going down. So that means I can do divided by 12. And now I just need to count up the squares on the top. Again, I know that along the top, a flat is going to be 10. But then along on its side is going to be a 1. So this whole thing along the top is 11. So if I were to divide 132 by 12, I'd get 11. Or I could write it this way, 132 divided by 11 equals 12. And if I want a multiplication sentence that matches that, then I would just simply take 11 times 12, and I get 132. All right, let's do one more example. All right, can you figure out what this one is? All right, so let's count it up. That's the first thing you would do is count up how much you got here. I have 100 in a flat. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 70 longs, or 70 in longs. And then now let's count up our singles. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
So for a total of 182. So I know that that is my dividend or what I'm starting out with. Now we just got to figure out what the sides equal. Okay, so remember that on place value blocks, it's on a flat. Okay, on a flat, there are 10. We go here. And each long would end with just one square so that the total on this side would be the 10 that go along the flat plus the one on each one of these longs right there. There is a square. So that's a total of 13 on that side. So 182 divided by 13 equals, now we'll count along the top. I know that it's 10 on the, along the flat and then each one long is going to have a square on the end. So that would be a total of 14 along the top. So if you take 182, divide it by 13, you're going to get 14. Or you take 182, divide it by 14, and get 13. So notice we've done no dividing or multiplying here. We just simply look at a picture, determine each sides of the rectangle, and then you have your equation built in.